Are you looking to move to St. Mary's County but you can't decide where to go? Watch this video and I'm gonna give you a general overview and then tell you about the top three towns in St. Mary's County. What's up everybody? Like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about the top three towns in St. Mary's County and also give you that general overview of the area. But before we do, I wanna introduce myself. My name is Rob Scowan. I'm with EXP Realty in Southern Maryland. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you scroll down, click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every single time we put out new content. Also, if you need help moving to Southern Maryland, if you want me to help you make that move easier, use that contact information below and I'd be happy to help you with all your home buying needs. All right, so like I said, today what we're gonna do is give you a general overview of St. Mary's County and then tell you about the top three towns in St. Mary's County according to niche.com. Now, all this information I have right here is information you can find as well. I use niche.com and recommend niche.com to everybody that I work with because it's a great resource for you to be able to research the areas. So what I'm gonna do today is just kinda give you that general overview, but I highly recommend going back and looking at niche and really digging into the different schools, into the different neighborhoods. It can get so granular for you that you can really pin down where you want to be. And it also has a lot of great reviews from people that have lived in the areas and it can really help you get a good feel. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, let's start with a general overview. All right, so St. Mary's County is actually this peninsula that you see right here. It goes from Charlotte Hall all the way down to Ridge, and kind of one of the biggest things about St. Mary's County and the biggest drivers of employment in St. Mary's County is this area right here. Um, and this is the Patuxent River Naval Air Station. So most of the people that are moving to St. Mary's County and live in this area are gonna be working at Pax River, or some people actually live in the northern part and then work up into this you know, Alexandria and Waldorf area. But for the most part, a lot of people that move to St. Mary's County, whether it's PCS into St. Mary's County um, or for whatever other reason for working for a contractor, they're gonna be working right here at, at uh, Pax River or they're gonna actually be working uh, down here at Webster's Field. Um, so that's kind of that general overview of the employment, but let's just go over what it's like to live in St. Mary's County and what it kind of feels like. Now, according to niche.com, the overall rating is a um, A minus. It's right there in the middle of pack of the other counties in Maryland. So there's 23 counties in Maryland and St. Mary's County is ranked number 11. It's got an A minus for public schools, a B plus for nightlife, a B plus for diversity. It's got a C plus for housing and we'll kind of dive into that too. Um, it's got an A for families and it's got a B minus for jobs. Um, if you want, you can also click here and it will show you that full report card where you can really go through all the information and dig down into it. Now, St. Mary's County has 112,000 um, residents and it's definitely growing and its medium home value is one of the lowest in uh, Southern Maryland. It's 301,000. Now, St. Mary or Calvert County um, is about 330, 340, so it's a significant amount less. And there's a balance here that a lot of um, that Calvert County doesn't see of uh, renting and owning, so you know it's a 70 30 split between own and rent, and a lot of this has to do the rental part has to do with people that are working for base or the service industries that are supporting base. Um, a lot of those people that are coming in will rent because they might not be here for a long time. All right, so what we're gonna do really quick is we're gonna go through all the different rankings for St. Mary's County and kind of the highlights, I guess, more than all the different rankings. We'll go down to Maryland and we'll look how it ranks through uh, the different counties here. Um, it's ranked number nine for best families in, or best county for families in Maryland. And you can see it's just kind of middle of the pack for everything. Uh, best counties uh, for public school, it's number 10. Best counties for young professional, it's number 11, which is higher than Calvert County. Um, but it's still, you know, middle of the pack. If you're wondering what a young professional ranking looks like, and it really just means that there's not a ton of millennials living around uh, St. Mary's County or in St. Mary's County. And there's also not a lot of restaurants and bars that support millennials as well. Um, you know, it it's, goes back to that nightlife kind of thing. But for the most part, it's definitely getting more options, but it's definitely not like a capital region area or Annapolis or DC where you have tons of options. Um, and that's why it's ranked in that middle of that pack. 
kind of going through this one always surprises me like I, I can see all these ones being in the middle here um, you know but this one down here best counties for outdoor activities um, if you love the water st. Mary's County is one of the best places to be because if you look back to that map it's surrounded by the Patuxent River the Potomac River all the little tributaries of those river and then also the Chesapeake Bay so if you want the water st. Mary's County is a place to be but they also talk about hiking trails and biking trails and there's just not that many in St. Mary's County. You know, we have St. Mary's Lake, which can be a great trail. There's not as many different parks and forest areas in St. Mary's County uh, that you can access. So, you know, I see what they're saying, um, but I want to say this with a caveat that if you like to be outdoors on the water, you really can't beat St. Mary's County because of all the different places that you can put a boat in for free because of St. Mary's County water access um, that the county commissioner has provided um, and just different bodies of water and different types of uh, water that you can enjoy in St. Mary's County. So 15 out of 23, I see what Niche is saying, but I kind of, I, I got a little bit of a bone to pick with that one. All right, so let's go ahead now and let's just jump into the top three towns. We're gonna start with number three. Number three, and now number three is Lexington Park. Now Lexington Park um, is the town that is right here, right next to base. Now, of course, it's convenient, it's close, it's got a lot of different restaurants and shops and stuff like that. Um, and honestly, it's got some of the most um, affordable housing and stuff like that too. Yeah, but it is really, uh, one of the most densely populated areas in St. Mary's County. A lot of people that move to St. Mary's County are looking for that rural feel, but you can see right here, a lot of people that live in Lexington Park rent, and a lot of it feels like that dense suburban feel. So if that sounds like something that, you know, you wouldn't mind being close to everyone, you are close to, you know, Walmart and grocery stores and kind of stuff like that. All right, so the number two place to live in St. Mary's County is gonna be Leonardtown, Maryland. Now, Leonardtown, Maryland is the county seat um, you know, it gets really great scores for public schools and A minus and A minus for, um, you know, families and A for diversity and a B for nightlife, but it does get a C for housing. And one of the biggest reasons for that is it's one of the highest priced areas in St. Mary's County. You know, the median house when it was, you know, much lower in Lexington Park, it's about $403,000 is the median sales price in there. And I've seen it definitely um, increase more. Now this also says dense suburban, but it's a bigger area and a smaller population. So I th think, you know, it's not as densely populated as Lexington Park. But I'm going to say that with a caveat. I think it's going to get more populated. There's been lots of population studies going on, and there's going to be a lot of different housing developments and people moving into that Leonardtown area. Now, I don't know if it's going to get as populated as Lexington Park, just because it's not as close to that Pax River area, but I could definitely see it feeling more densely populated you know, over the next five to 10 years. All right, and now, according to niche.com, the number one place to live in St. Mary's County in 2022 is California, Maryland. So now California, Maryland is located, you can see it right here, here's Lexington Park. California, Maryland is this area right here. It's home to one of the biggest neighborhoods in St. Mary's County called Wildwood. Um, there's also other neighborhoods in there too. It's got a variety of different housing types, townhomes, condos, you know, single family homes and all that kind of stuff. So it really is a great place to live and it's smack dab in the middle of all the shopping, all the restaurants, you know, it's close enough to uh, Pax River right here. It's an easy commute. You can get over to Calvert County too. And it definitely cuts some of the commute off when you're looking to go up to DC. And you can see too, it's really close to Leonardtown. So it ranked high in public schools, you know, good for families, diversity, a little bit higher in nightlife too. Um, it gave it, they gave it a B for housing, um, but there are more affordable options for housing there. Now that looks really low compared to Leonardtown and it is, a lot of it has to do with the townhomes that are available in California. So, you know, a young professional or someone like that that's just starting out a career can definitely find an affordable place for themselves to live. Um, compared to Leonardtown where there's just not as many townhomes available, uh, maybe for people that are on a tighter budget. And you can see here, California's population is about 14,000. Now, again, 
I think, you know, I would consider California more of that densely suburban populated. I'm not sure why they called it sparse there, um, but it's definitely more densely suburban. Um, and I think it's just like Leonardtown, we're going to see more growth. There's already talks of more housing developments coming uh, near Wildwood and other areas too, to support the growing base and to support the growing population that's going to be coming over the next five to 10 years in St. Mary's County. So I see those pluses of California being that you can find some bigger single family homes and stuff like that. You can find, you know, just a variety of different housing and you're a little more centrally located than say Lexington Park where you're a little bit further down. All right, well, hopefully this information about St. Mary's County was helpful. If you have any questions or need any help, make sure you use that contact information below. Call me, text me, whatever you want, and I'd be happy to make your move easier. Also, if you want to, you can scroll down to the first comment, click on that link in that comment, and we'll schedule a Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one with me, and we can talk about your home buying needs. Last but not least, if this content was helpful and you want more content like it, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every single time we put out new content about moving to Southern Maryland. Hope to see you on the next video.